Hey everyone, and welcome back to day 35 of 100 Day Code of the Programming Zone. Subscribe and turn on bell notifications. Today, we're crafting a powerful tool to boost your knowledge and practice any subject, flashcards, built with Tinter. Imagine creating virtual flashcards with any questions and answers you want right on your screen. Let's dive in and make learning interactive. 1. Import Libraries From Tkinter Import, imports all the necessary tools from the Tkinter library for building the user interface. Import Random imports the random module to shuffle the order of flashcards. 2. Create Main Window Window equals TK creates the main window of the application. Window.title flashcard app sets the title of the window to flashcard app. Window.geometry 500 by 300 sets the initial size of the window to 500 pixels wide and 300 pixels tall. 3. Define a function to reveal the answer. Def reveal answer defines a function named reveal answer that will be executed when the button is clicked. Answer label dot config text equals current card updates the text of the answer label to display the answer from the current card. 4. Create flashcards. Cards creates a list of tuples where each tuple represents a flashcard with a question and answer. 5. Create labels. Question label equals label creates a label to display the question. Question label dot pack pady equals 20 places the label on the window with some padding to create spacing. Answer label equals label creates a label to display the answer. Answer label dot pack pady equals 20 places the answer label below the question label with padding. 6. Shuffle and display the first card. Random dot shuffle cards shuffles the order of the cards in the cards list to provide a randomized experience. Current card equals cards dot pop zero removes the first card from the list and stores it in the current card variable. Question label dot config text equals current card updates the question label to display the question from the current card. 7. Create reveal button. Reveal button equals button creates a button with the text reveal answer. Command equals reveal answer specifies that the reveal answer function should be executed when the button is clicked. Reveal button dot pack places the button on the window. 8. Run the main loop. Window dot main loop starts the Tkinter event loop, which keeps the window open and responsive to user interactions. Now it's time to run the code. 1. A window will appear on your screen, like a little digital flashcard box. 2. It'll have a title at the top that says flashcard app. 3. Inside the window, you'll see a question written in clear text, like a teacher asking you something. 4. Below the question, there'll be a space for the answer, but it'll be empty at first, like a hidden surprise. 5. There'll also be a button that says Reveal Answer. 6. If you're curious and click that button, the hidden answer will magically appear below the question, just like flipping over a real flashcard. 7. The app will keep showing you different questions and answers each time you run it, so it's like a surprise quiz every time. That's it for today's flashcard adventure. You've mastered the art of creating interactive learning tools with Tinter. But don't put those coding wands away just yet, because there's even more awesome stuff waiting to be built. In our next episode, we'll dive into new ways to make your apps even more user-friendly and versatile. Get ready to learn how to build a secure login page to protect your apps and make them feel super official. So stay tuned, grab those coding hats, and get ready to level up your Tkinter skills even further.